Good day, and my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and wishing all viewers who celebrate the Lunar New Year a happy Lunar New Year, and may 10,000 wishes come true. In Mandarin, it's 恭喜发财,万事如意. And this fortnight has got a lot of interesting articles, and a lot of it are uh, biasly in Singapore, because that's where I am right now. So let's begin with the first major news, which is the amendments to the PDPA, the local regulation for Singapore, the local regulation laws on privacy in Singapore, and there are three major uh, updates. One is more consumer control over data, stricter enforcements, and some changes to the do not call provisions. So, you want to read or uh, listen more about the updates? Just click on this link up here, and we'll, I will have an update on the amendments in the other video. So, another major news that have uh, shook Singapore in terms of privacy is the fact that the police has uh, access to contact tracing uh, information. So for those of you who are not familiar with contact tracing in Singapore, in Singapore we have a device called a trace together device or installed in our phones where our locations are captured and stored into this uh, central database. So now the police have access to this database for the purpose of serious crimes. So there is a, 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 a little debate here between contact tracing for safety and surveillance. So what do you think about this? And I've got another video to talk about how we should use our data. But I'm wondering, what is it like for contact tracing information in other countries outside of Singapore? I'm really curious because I don't get to read a lot of articles about this. So, but really my, my thought here is governments must use data responsibly. What do you think? So another news that uh, was interesting in Singapore is that Singapore also commented about WhatsApp and how the hack on solar winds, which is a major issue we talked about two weeks ago, uh, uh, affected the world. So Singapore has mentioned and made very clear that these two hasn't affected Singapore very much and they are still looking into WhatsApp. I think the Indian government issued a statement about WhatsApp, but let's see how it progresses over the over the, the, the weeks to come. And talk about WhatsApp, <laughs> looks like we have another internet giant who is going to respond to WhatsApp or Facebook's uh, recent data uh, pri uh, privacy policies, and that is Apple. Yes, I'm a, I admit I'm an Apple user over here. And well, Apple suddenly put up this statement saying they would pr uh, allow users to prevent uh, Facebook and WhatsApp from collecting their data. So um, we're going to see sparks fly uh, in, the, in, in the weeks and months to come. And this may be World War Three on cyberspace. And I believe this is something that we can avoid because I'm sure many users are, many people are using Facebook or iPhone or even the, 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 the Apple devices. So let's see what's going to happen in weeks to come. But whatever the case, I think all of us must be very responsible for our personal data because after all, it is our personal data. So on to somewhere outside of uh, Singapore, it's uh, China. So this is, article comes from IAPP, the International Authority for Privacy, and certainly China is going to, look like China is going to put together a privacy bill as well. So this is, uh, in fact, the article that was uh, uh, first published in October, but you know, it's official, it's like kind of official right now, for draft policy bill. So if you are going to plan to do business in China, um, look out. And if you are a Chinese business, I think we also have to start to explore. So I myself am getting ready by preparing my materials in Mandarin. And even in Singapore, I do do uh, workshops in Mandarin regards to the local privacy policy. So I hope you have got a quick updates on what's happening to Singapore, uh, in Singapore and outside Singapore regards to privacy. Um, so well, uh, as always, be safe. Be very careful with your personal data. Read carefully. So my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. Let's keep it short this week. It's a holiday season here in Singapore, but we are still on lockdown. So let's be safe and yeah, be good. See you then and be good.